Where are the men? Where are the strong Jamaican men? Where are the courageous, fearless, bold, passionate, and good men in Jamaica today speaking out against the wicked crimes against women and children? I cannot hear them. Where are the ones who say they love their mothers, wives, and children? I do not see them. I do not hear them. Are we ladies left to stand up for ourselves? Once again, can't they take a stand with us too? I just have to ask, dot, 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 sigh. Now, that is a message which I saw today in a post on a lady's site. She was challenging us men. So I actually responded by saying, guess what? I've actually been doing a video and I sent her the video. She reminded me and said, I'm not in Jamaica. Where are the men in Jamaica? Crying out. I said to her, there are men I know who are in Jamaica speaking out against this, you know? On Facebook, she said, I don't want to see them on Facebook. I want to see big businessmen, organizations speaking up and all those sort of things, not just dropping some words on Facebook, on posts. She wants to hear. She wants to see them who are in authorities speaking out against pedophilia, speaking against men having sex with underage children, having sex with underage boys, women having sex with underage children as well, lesbians, homosexual, whatever, men, whatever. This has got to stop, she's saying. Where are the men? Now I said to her, I'm going to do a video and I'm going to challenge men, challenge my fellow Jamaican men. I'm not in Jamaica, but I'm going to challenge you men. But I just want to set this tone first about what is pedophilia or pedophiles. Pedophilia or pedophile is a psychiatric disorder. Pedophilia or pedophile, sometimes it's P-E-D-O, P-H-I-L-I-A, or P-A-E-D-O, P-H-I-L-I-A. It's a psychiatric disorder in which an adult or older adolescent experience a primary or exclusive sexual attraction attraction to prepresent children or little girls little boys right and I just want to set the tone a bit more I did it last night on my Facebook but I said knowing the profile of a child molester do you know that any adult could be a child molester did you know that there's no one physical characteristics appearance profession or personality type that all child molesters share Child molesters can be sex, any sex or race and their any religious affiliations, occupations and hobbies, etc. I'll go further. Did you know that adults are the key perpetrators? You know that. Did you know that most child molesters are known to children they abuse? 30% of children who have been sexually abused were abused by a family member, and 60% were abused by an adult they knew who was not a family member. That means 10% of children who are sexually abused were targeted by a total stranger. Think about that for a second. According to the UNICEF report, some 75% of first sexual experience by children, people, is coerced. In most cases, child molesters, listen to this, turns out to be someone known to the child through school or another activity, such as a neighbor, teacher, coach, member of the clergy, as in this particular case, which is wrecking havoc in Jamaica with a 64-year-old pastor having sex or in compromising position with a little girl. And I'm getting to understand that it is also running through the vein of the other sisters, siblings in the house, music instructor or babysitter. Family members like mothers, fathers, grandmothers, grandfathers, aunts, uncles, cousins, step parents, and so on may also be sexual predators. Listen to me. Did you know that common characteristics of a child molester is this? While anyone can turn out to be a child molester, the majority of child molesters are men. Let this land. Majority of child molesters are men, you and me. I'm speaking to men now, right? Regardless of whether their victims are male or female, many sexual predators have a history of abuse in their own past. Some have mental illness, you know, and this is it. This is something we need to know. Heterosexual and homosexual men are equally likely to be child molesters. 
So the idea that many people have that homosexual men are more likely to be child molesters is a complete myth. Complete myth. Female child molesters are also likely to abuse boys than girls. So I just want to leave this right here. I just want to take this opportunity to challenge you, my fellow Jamaican men, to support and protect children, women, and yourselves. Remember what I said earlier, a majority of child molesters are men. The majority of child molesters are men, regardless of whether their victims are male or female. So therefore, men, this is my challenge to you. If the majority of child molesters are men, then you are more prone to be the one who is messing around with women, little girls. Stop it. You've got to stop it. Right? Turn it around, whereby you are now the chief protector of women, the chief protector of your wife, of your siblings, of your sisters, of your brothers, your mothers, the chief protector. So therefore, we do not have the young lady putting out on Facebook, where are the courageous, fearless, bold, passionate, and good men in Jamaica today? Speaking out against the wicked crimes against women and children. I cannot hear them. Let her hear you. Let, her, let, let them hear us. Where are the ones who say that they love their mothers, wives, and children? Let her hear you. Let her hear us. I do not see them. Are we ladies left to take a stand for ourselves once again? No. Let her hear us. Let the woman hear us. Let us stand up for this. Let us break the back of pedophilia in Jamaica. Let us castrate this sickness. It's been going for a while. On FFBJ, my organization, I've been speaking about this for a while. A long while now. Just like with the, the Kajil Mice case, if we're not careful, the 64-year-old man can walk. He can walk. But what we've got to do in the process is to start to educate our children. So men, there's a responsibility. And that's my challenge to you, right? Stand with the woman. Let's stand together. If it means a march or whatever, but I am challenge you men, let us not have our young lady writing these messages. Let her see and let her hear. As she said to me, not another Facebook post. I want to see big men in organizations, top men, top dogs, politicians, whatever, standing up. So therefore, that means if you're messing around with little children, stop it. Stop it now. You're going to get caught. What happens in darkness will come to light. And one of the words that I hear this year, a lot of things are going to be exposed. Stop it. Thank you very much. And my fellow men and ladies, we're going to be standing with you. Thank you. Silver, out. Bye-bye.